China's rapid urbanization is a phenomenon that mesmerizes observers around the world. Those who have lived in China for many years can attest to the awe they feel at the sight of skyscrapers that seem to grow overnight against the once tranquil landscapes of hutongs or traditional lanes and verdant forests. One of the most striking aspects of China's development is the transformation of the natural terrain to match the growing urban landscape. In areas such as Shenzhen, often referred to as the City of Hills, the contrast between past and present is stark. Although the cityscape now dominates the skyline, it is hard to imagine that these bustling streets were once adorned with rolling hills and lush greenery. Indeed, the hills that once defined the cityscape are slowly being erased, making way for the inexorable march of progress. This rapid transformation speaks to China's massive urbanization efforts. As cities grow and populations increase, the demand for space and infrastructure has led to changes in the natural environment. Forests are being cut down, hills are being leveled, and once vibrant ecosystems are giving way to concrete jungles. Yet amid the relentless pace of development, there is a sense of awe at the scale and ambition of China's urban projects. The sight of gleaming skyscrapers rising majestically against a rapidly changing landscape is a testament to the country's unwavering determination to modernize and prosper. But this transformation also raises important questions about sustainability and environmental preservation. As China continues to urbanize at breakneck speed, there is a growing awareness of the need to find a balance between development and environmental preservation. Finding solutions that allow for sustainable growth while preserving the natural beauty of the land is a challenge that China and the world must tackle together. One of the most impressive spectacles is watching Chinese laborers navigate the rickety scaffolding with apparent ease, often without the safety harnesses and equipment common in many other parts of the world. In the southern regions of China, bamboo scaffolding is a common sight demonstrating the adaptability and ingenuity of the workers. However, it is not only the construction sites themselves that are astonishing, but also the breathtaking architectural marvels that emerge from them. For example, glass excursion bridges that seem to defy gravity as they circle rugged cliffs and rocky landscapes. These engineering feats testify to China's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of the possible. But the question remains, how do the Chinese manage to build these seemingly impossible structures? The answer lies in a combination of meticulous planning, advanced technology, and perhaps most importantly, sheer determination. Teams of skilled engineers and laborers work tirelessly to overcome the challenges and bring these ambitious projects to life. Looking at a glass bridge suspended high above a canyon or set among towering peaks, it's easy to marvel at the audacity of human ambition. Every step along these dizzying routes is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. So the next time you find yourself on the bustling streets of a Chinese city or admiring the breathtaking scenery, take a moment to marvel at the incredible feats of engineering and construction that surround you. In China, the sky really does seem to be the limit and the journey from blueprint to reality is nothing short of awe-inspiring. The construction of bold projects such as walkways and glass-bottom bridges in China is nothing short of miraculous. It's a testament to the human courage, skill, and daring that make these awe-inspiring designs come to life. If you've ever stumbled upon withering footage of workers precariously perched on wooden platforms high above dizzying cliffs, you'll understand the mixture of awe and awe they evoke. They are brave souls who inch by inch turn architectural dreams into reality. But how, you ask, do they manage to build these vertigo-inducing paths? The answer lies in a combination of ingenuity, resilience, and one might say, a healthy dose of recklessness. Picture this, a team of intrepid workers their footsteps echoing off the canyon walls as they navigate improvised paths suspended hundreds of feet above the ground. There are no safety nets or harnesses, just wooden planks underfoot and a vast expanse of air below. With each careful step, 
these intrepid builders move closer to their goal, defying gravity and pushing the boundaries of what is possible. It is a breathtaking display of human determination and skill, tempered by a constant awareness of risk. For those with weak stomachs or a fear of heights, these shots may be too much to bear. But for others, they serve as a reminder of the extraordinary feats that people are capable of when faced with seemingly insurmountable odds. So the next time you gaze at a glass bottom bridge or walk along a dizzying cliffside path, Take a moment to recognize the courage and dedication of the workers who made it all possible. They may not have had insurance or safety harnesses, but they had something even more powerful, an indefatigable spirit of adventure and a willingness to push the boundaries of what is possible. The story of Shenlunwan village in China's Shanxi province is one of resilience, ingenuity and determination in the face of geographic isolation. This picturesque village, hidden among towering cliffs and rugged mountains, has long been cut off from the outside world. But instead of resigning themselves to their fate, the people of Shenlongwan took matters into their own hands and embarked on a monumental task, building a road to connect their isolated community to the rest of the world. For generations, the people of Shenlongwan have made their living by growing lush pear orchards and walnut groves that thrived in the region's favorable climate. But despite the bountiful harvests, the villagers faced a serious problem when it came to selling their produce. With no roads linking them to the nearest markets, transporting goods meant traversing rugged terrain and arduous journeys through eight neighboring villages or traversing steep mountain passes. Frustrated by years of fruitless appeals for help from government agencies, the people of Shenlongwan decided to take matters into their own hands. With grit, determination, and perseverance, they set out to build their own road, defying the odds and overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles along the way. Armed with nothing more than shovels, pickaxes, and an unwavering sense of community, the villagers of Shinlunwan took on the ambitious task of paving a path through the harsh landscape that surrounded them. Working tirelessly day and night, they paved a path through rocky terrain, smashed through unyielding boulders, and traversed terrifying chasms to create a lifeline that would forever change the fate of their village. Their efforts were truly Herculean. They labored for months on end against landslides, rockfalls, and other mountain-building hazards. But through determination and a collective will to succeed, they pressed forward, moving closer to their goal with each passing day. Determined to connect their isolated community to the outside world, the villagers embarked on the daunting task of building a road through the harsh, mountainous terrain that had long cut them off from the rest of China. With unwavering determination, they set about cutting a one and a half kilometer stretch of mountain Armed only with hand tools such as chisels and hammers, they worked tirelessly day after day, their determination unwavering despite the enormity of the task before them. Initially optimistic calculations gave way to the harsh reality of the unyielding rock, and what should have taken a few years turned into an arduous 15-year endeavor. But their efforts bore fruit in 2000 when they finally managed to break through the imposing rock and connect their village to the vast network of roads crisscrossing China. The tunnel they had struggled so hard to break through, stretching 1,526 meters long and several meters high and wide, now serves as a vital artery linking Shenlunwan to the outside world. Trucks now traverse the once impassable path with ease, transporting goods to and from the village and ushering in a new era of prosperity for its residents. Despite the grueling labor, the villagers of Shenlongwan look back on their monumental achievement with a sense of pride and satisfaction. For them, the road represents more than just a physical connection. It symbolizes the enduring spirit of a community united in the pursuit of a common goal. And as travelers come here to admire the breathtaking scenery and vibrant culture of Shenlongwan, the village has become a thriving tourist destination, with about 60% of its residents employed in the burgeoning tourism sector. But amid the newfound prosperity brought about by the advent of the road, the village has not forgotten its roots. 
Agriculture remains a cornerstone of life in Shenlongwan, and the famous pears and walnuts continue to thrive on the fertile soil that surrounds the village. And as the average income in Shenlongwain has risen dramatically, it has increased 18-fold since the 1990s, villagers have been lifted out of poverty and into a bright, hopeful future.